Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for Shimmer's Paints. I'm on the design team and I am using the April 2023 color kits. And we've got fun stuff to show you. I'm gonna just start here. The three dots this month, we have this cute little daisy pattern. A bit of a larger one with a kind of a charcoaly black outline. And then one that reads, here comes the sun. Great. Our cut file, it's like a twofer. We have got uh, daisy bases and then daisy outlines. So however you're vibing that, you do you. I did them in two different sizes. I did three in the large size and two in the small size because I figure I can layer them and make them fluttery. So that's going to be super fun. And then I went ahead, and this is still wet, so I'm going to move my cut file out of the way. I went ahead and swatched my mixed media goodies so for olive you truly that is an inklings and i've got a little bit of water in there with an inklings you have to add water to it and then you can use it like a watercolor in a handy dandy little paint pot so super fun next i have me and blue that's also an inklings and it is a gorgeous gorgeous shade i've had this color before and you end up using it all up because it is so pretty then for Ice Sage, which do we not love that name? I love that name. For Ice Sage, this is also an in Inklings. So we have got lots of gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer this month. That is a much lighter, like, ugh, it's just, let me see if I can show you because it's drying. Look at all of that pearly, sparkly goodness. And then my next color, it is called... Here comes the sun. So it's got more of a burnt sienna kind of a color in the bottle, but it's a really nice yellowy orangey tone. And then finally, I have deep blue. Oh, the oh, and that's a vibes, and that's a new color for this month. And then I have a vibes in deep blue C that you see right here. So the vibes also have a nice amount of pigment, and we've got the shimmer and the vibrant, and they are lovely. So that's what I have to work with. I'm going to use a 2016 picture of my youngest daughter and myself. Let me trim it off of my little photo dealio really quickly. It's this photo here, total throwback photo from 2016 down in Florida doing all of the things. She used to play volleyball, so we had tournaments all over the place. So that is what that is. Chances are it would be in June because we always went to the Orlando area in June and then we would take our little field trips, you know. So what I think I want to do, I'm starting to look at this, these goodies, right? And I always like my nice little swatch card because it helps me along the way. But what I think I want to do is leave the top parts of my flowers in white and just paint the the kind of the base of them and i might go pretty basic i really love 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 here comes the sun so that would come through really nicely and let's see and i'm also digging deep blue sea so i think i'll do those in a little bit of a darker tone on my bases and then we'll come up with some kind of a fun wet mixed media extravaganza <laughs> using Ice Sage using me in blue and olive you truly and chances are splatting some of this on as well. But this is going to be one of those, well, that was pretty simple, Shannon, situations. That's perfectly fine. I like to paint right on my cutting mat because it does have um, adhesive on the cutting mat. You know, it's light adhesive, but it has it and it holds it down really nicely while it dries. So... Let's start with my Here Comes the Sun. And I'll do three, probably in this color, two in deep blue sea, and I'll set them aside to dry. And I'm going to literally, so let me do one, two, and three. So two larger, one smaller. I'm just going to do the simple, simple. And yes, 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 if you are wondering what is that wretched sound, it is... My puppy is taking himself a nice nap behind me. He is very loud. He is a lot. So I am just going to get these painted in. 
Now, if I want them a little deeper in color, I can come back. I can layer it up because shimmers paints layer really nicely. And yeah, we'll just do that center. Now, I don't know what the idea is for these center bits. My thought are maybe you can paint them a different color. So maybe I should come in. I'll come in with the Olive You Truly in my centers because it's a really nice green and, you know, our florals can have all those different colors. So let me paint these in. I know it's really boring to wash. There's not much going on. Oh, before I go much further, I wanna remind you guys that when you place your next order to go ahead and put my name in the comments and you'll get yourself a freebie. And since freebies are my favorite, I always wanna make sure that you guys remember to do that. So pretty liberally, pretty heavy. I did not gesso, didn't do any of that. I like when I have a nice amount of um, warping <laughs> because it's just another texture or dimension. So that does not bother me one little bit. So I will do the exact same thing with my Deep Blue Sea and I'll be right back in a jiffy. So this hot mess right here is what I did with my cut files. I just have splatty bits on my three yellow overlays and splatty bits in my blue, which is not yellow. I know I'm supposed to say here comes the sun and then the deep blue sea. Wanted a little something on there since the bottom would be so painty, but that's what we have there. Now I have to clear clean. I have splatters all over my desk. I have to clean up my workspace a little bit and then I will go get some Vicki Booten foundations paper and be right back. So let's start playing with this a little bit. I don't even have a real plan yet. I just want to kind of play, do a nice little mixed media background. Whatever's gonna happen is what's gonna happen, right? Let's see, let me rinse my paintbrush. Wanna get a little bit more water in here. So trying to keep the Ice Age and my All of You Truly a little bit separated because you know I wanna put the right cap back on the right one. It's a real thing. Now let's see, they're all inklings. So no matter what, I'm gonna have this great shimmer and shine at the end of it. So let's start with All of You Truly. Now a lot of it fell down in that little hole. Let's see, there we go. Very technical way to do that. Just getting it on here for now. Now this foundations paper is quite kind in that it is so thick that you can really get your mixed media on with it. So I don't know if I'm keeping these splatters, but I'm just going for it for now because that's how it came out. Okay, the next paint I want to see if I can get out is some of this Ice Sage because I want to see what it's going to look like. Same thing. I had a nice amount down in it. It's such a silvery pale green. It's quite pretty. Come on, come on out. I'm going to get some of that on my background. And guys, it might just stay like this because I really like it. Like I said, I had zero plan for what I wanted to do. So I'm kind of liking that it is that random. There we go. And so we have that. Then the next color I really wanted to work on is this color called Me in Blue which is a fab name and let's see how much we have in here. I feel like activating it just a little bit more, not activating it, just giving it a little bit more of a spritz because this color is the bee's knees. So let's see. Let's let it fall in a few places and perfectly fine if it mixes with the green. They are happy friends on the color wheel. And so the, what I'm doing to get it to splat like that is I'm flicking it right off the lip of my paint pot while it's upside down. So it is doing splatty bits gone wild all by itself. So I'm going to let this dry for a good while. I am going to just leave my background pretty much in this hot mess kind of state and create right on top of it. Just felt like flicking away and seeing what we get out of this. And this me in blue color, which I'm going to actually put more, it is working really, really well 
with this photograph color. Like it's, it's just totally working. So we're gonna go a little bit more me and blue heavy on this. And what I think I'm gonna also do is on the blue flowers that are on my um, daisies, I might go in with some of this color as well because I like the sparkly sparkle. So I might give it just a little bit extra zhuzh. There we go. Same thing, I'm just using the lip of that to flick it and it's giving me just fabulous splatty bits. There we go, a little bit more there. So everywhere gets some nice mixed media treatment. And it's rather organic and uncontrolled. All right, I'm going to let that dry. I'll see you guys back here in a minute. So I've gone ahead and added just a little bit of the me and blue over my deeper blue floral. And then on top of my yellowy floral, which has Here Comes the Sun, I added Ice Sage on it and they blended beautifully. So I'll just get a little bit of extra sparkly goodness. Now on this bit right here, I think I'm going to come in with some white splatters from my stash because I would like to get some into these large puddly areas and I think it would end up looking really pretty. Absolutely. That's what I was looking for. A little something, something extra on here. Now the white on the white, if you're wondering why I would put white on white, because I will have a little bit of a different texture. This is a shiny white, so it's going to give my other mixed media just a little something interesting to look at. And I go in pretty heavy with the white because, you know, you can with white on white. So it will be that much more fun. All right, I think I'm going to have to let this dry overnight because it is pretty darn wet. And I will see you guys back here in the morning. All right, so I have all of these pieces dry. And let me tell you, I am so happy with them. So I like to bend my bits up. I think it makes things more interesting when you just have a bit of extra dimension. So I'm going to have my flowers, right? And I have three in the gold tones, two in the cooler blue tones. All of that's great. Like my background, let me do a quick little look at all of the messy blobbery that I have on here. Love it, like the shine. It's giving me texture and dimension on a fairly flat piece of something. So that's cool. So the next thing I want to do, remember I have these dots and they're probably going to go in the center of my three biggest flowers. I know it's super obvious, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Um, all right, so I've got this kit and it's called Soak Up the Sun. It was from June of last year and it has this paper right here. It's Echo Park Endless Summer Beach Towel and I've got a hinker to tear a piece rather diagonally, but I do not want it to be like a perfect wedge. I want it to be a bit of a, you know, how torn things are torn. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out, but I tend to just go for it. And I figure the worst thing that happens is I wound a piece of paper, which is not that big of a deal to me. So I'd like it to kind of end right around here on this side. There we go. So that's about right. And then same exact dealio on this side, I wanna have that corner left. And people will ask, well, because I tend to just go for it on things. What if you mess up? What if you whatever? Guys, I can always use this piece of paper for something else if it doesn't come out exactly like you know, what I picture, I can always use it later. Not a big deal. That's exactly what I wanted though. I'm liking that. Now we've got this cute little red, like little crabby vibe on the backside. And I don't mind some of that red showing. So I can do a little something like this. Let some of that come up. Will it all show? No. Am I worried about it all showing? No. It's just because it makes me happy when I kind of see it peeking. And you might not even see it peeking from this angle, 
but boy do you when you see it from the side. I know, it's the little things. Now, in the meantime, I also created three shaker pockets with this Echo Park Summertime Frames and Tags Kit. This was from the a la carte section from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And I also had a set of, a set? A little pot? I don't know what it's called when you have a bunch of sequins. I had a sequin mix that I thought I'd like to use. So that's more goodies that I thought would be fun to put and mix in with all the florals as I have it going down. But look at there's little beach balls. How fun is that? So I did that while my goodies were drying as well. So what I'm gonna do, now that I have some fancy schmancy pattern paper going, I'm gonna go ahead, attach it down. I think I'm gonna have to come in with some liquid adhesive because mixed media likes to fight dry adhesive. I'm gonna get my florals down, figure out where my photo, photo of Rye and I will go. And then we'll just finish decorating this. So like for the most part, my design has been figured out. I think I'm gonna scuff up those little corners only because the rest of this paper is so <laughs> distressed and loved on. It just seems like this needed a little something too. Mandatory, no, but little touches are fun. Or at least my brain said it would be fun. Okay, so we have that. I really, like my biggest concern is I wanted to keep the integrity of the stripes at the angle that they'd be if they were totally straight. I thought that would be a rather nifty little plan. Okay, let me get all of this on there. I'll be right back. I'm gonna find something to map my photo with as well. So I went ahead, nothing is attached down except for my stripey piece, but I did find this piece right here, not find, it was my kit. It's Echo Park Endless Summer. Let's see. Oh, it's a three by four journaling cards and I, really messily cut out these three pieces, but I'm going to use these. I'm going to detail cut them out and use them in my little diagonal stripey dealio as well. So thought I would tell you about that because that paper is getting torn all up right now. And I still have to map my photo and then see if there's any other die cuts or anything that I can use from these goodies that I have. But I have a feeling I'll find something. Guys, I have these pieces down and they are so darned cute. I just can't even. And there's not even that much on here. So let's see what I have. I've cut out a couple pieces, bringing in a little bit of the whole Florida vibe. So I've got this cute little palm tree. And I thought he might be nice there. I'm trying to decide. I like this piece here, but I don't know. Ooh, I like it better like that where you just see some of it. Hmm. So I don't know if I need Hello Summer. Well, I mean, it was June. We could have Hello Summer. Hello Summer's fine. All right, so Hello Summer will go there. But I want to get a palm tree somewhere else though with a little bit of a distance if I do that. Let's see, maybe up there, that's fine. And then I have this cute little funky VW bus looking vehicle, let's see. But I'm trying to keep my diagonal as well. So that's where things get a little bit tricky. That one be, would be driving off into the sunset, is that a problem? I don't know. If I do that, I cover the whole thing. That, you can't really see it. I'm thinking it has to just go driving right off wherever it needs to go. All right, so we have that. I like bringing in a little bit of that green because I have these great greens in this. Remember, I have Olive You Truly and Ice Sage, so I do have the green thing going on. So I have a little bit of the green. And then what else do I have? I've got a few of these little tropical banner pieces that might be kind of nice if I have them sticking out from just here and there. Like around the photo is not the worst idea. And yes, I'm, I'm in a little bending everything up festival lately. So I can have just a little bit of something happening there. The deep red, I don't think so. And the deep navy, I don't think so. So let's see. Now for the florals, see, look at my, it looks like I'm bright red. So I must have gotten fried that day. Whoops. Oh, just about that much of the floral I like. And then the beach ball vibe. I mean, I have beach balls on things. Maybe I'll put it 
man, I've got the sun up there and I want these little florals to show a bit coming out of my title area. I like this little beach ball. Hmm. Maybe right there. That's fine. Okay. I have that. Let me get these pieces down. Now, do I have anything else in my little goodies collection here that I'm working with? I try to work with the things that are on my desk because I tend to use more of them if I do that. I do have some alphas, so I'll do some kind of title right here. That will be fine. And I've got these great enamel dots. They're gorgeous and I have not touched them. So let me sprinkle them all in. I'll take a little bit of stock and I'll show you my finished layout. So my friends, that is this layout done. I like my fun little dimension. I like my layered florals. I used some fun product that I had on hand and it totally goes together beautifully. So I have my little year, I've got a nice little title and the location. So it's practically journaled just like that. So I'm going to have links down below for the Shimmers website, the Shimmers Paints website for the blog and the Facebook group. You can check out all of the inspiration from the design team and other people that like to post that have all of their gorgeous Shimmers products. So, or projects, projects. Anywho, I'm going to have still shots right there. I, I'm going to go ahead and take them and get this layout up on the blog and all of those places. And I'll see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.